Hi guys, Football Manager, youthdevelopment.co.uk here. Today we're going to be having a look at a tactics video. I've been uh, requested to make a tactics video for a team in the Skrill South called Bath City. Uh, this is obviously on Football Manager 2014. Football Manager 2015 is coming out pretty soon, so I will be um, updating all my tactics videos um, and yeah, sort of creating new tactics um, on Football Manager 15. But what I wanted to do on this um, particular tactics video was just show you how I kind of create my tactics from the very, very start. So I've obviously taken over here at Bath City. This is a very, very, um, you know, I've literally just come into the game here. So what I'd look to do, obviously, Bath City are a team in, in uh, sort of like non-league football. So the squad size is going to be small. Um, so what I'd do, I'd have every single player available for selection. And then what you first need to do is just sort by ability and then just roughly put the players into the positions where they're kind of most suited. So I'm um, just going through here. I'll just have a look at Joe. So he's um, best as a ball winner midfielder. So yeah, I'll put him in the center as well. And yeah, put David Pratt up front. Um, actually, I would say actually in real life, I'm, um, I had a season ticket for Maiden Edge United. And that was for about three or four seasons. So I do... Uh, I do know David Pratt quite well, um, kind of thing in real life. Um, so yeah, I know that he, he's work rate. Um, I can vouch for that being as high as it is on Football Manager. Um, okay, so cool. Yeah, so got another striker here. They seem to have quite a lot of good midfielders. Um, so yeah, they've filled up all the midfielder positions now. Just going to have a look at the defenders. Um Okay, I'll whack him there. And then I just need to sort out the goalkeeper. So it looks like they've only actually got one goalkeeper um, who's uh, one and a half star. So certainly what I'd be doing as Bath manager, I'd be looking to bring in a new uh, goalkeeper as soon as possible. So what I've done here, guys, is you can see I've just... All the kind of better players, um, I've just put them into the team just for now. And we're going to have just a real quick look through everything. And, um, yeah, kind of start putting people into their position. So I know that Simpson is a limited fullback and he's best playing at right back so what I'm going to do just straight away I'm going to swap Simpson and Bull um, around like that and obviously we can see here that Dan Bull's best position is uh, as a, is as a complete wing back um, in the left back position so what I'll do I'll put him as a complete wing back and then just on attacking Gallina he's best as a fullback um, but he certainly wouldn't be too bad in the centre back position um, this guy is six foot three, and probably yeah, quite a kind of powerfulish guy. So yeah, I'd have him certainly as a limited defender. So what you're looking at here, things like his technique, technique, um, passing's quite poor, composure's really poor, creativity's really poor, um, things like that. So yeah, definitely, definitely have him as a limited defender. What what I'm going to do in this tactics video, I'm going to show you like all the mentalities that I'd pick, all the fluidities, um, team instructions, and things like that. And things like that, I'll do that at the end. Um, so yeah, we ha we have got Galena. Um, just having a scan through, just to see if we've got any other centre backs in the team. Um, so Joe, he is five foot nine, so he's not ideal at all as a as a centre back. So yeah, we'll leave Galena there. Um, Okay, so another position that I've identified that they need uh, to bring in another player is at centre back. So this guy's okay for now, five foot ten, and you can see he's got most of the kind of attributes, um, yeah, to kind of do that role. And he's um, certainly a lot more um, kind of better at passing and things like that than the other centre back. But obviously his composure is still really, really low. So I'm going to give him the limited defender role as well now. I know that Bath are one of the kind of better teams in this league. Um, yeah, they're expected to do quite well. So I'm just going to have a look at Noah Keats. So he's just got really, really good work rate. And his finishing is, and composure are quite good for this level. He's got a little bit of flair as well. So I'm going to keep him up there for now, just up top with Pratt, just while I sort out my midfield and how I want to set this up. So just going to have a look back. Um at the other players that I did leave out. So Ross Stern is a right winger. And where's Josh Lowe's best position? So. Yeah now he hasn't really got any work rate. And he can't tackle. So I don't think I want Josh Lowe in the team. Even though he is rated as one of the best players. Uh, or better players. I just don't think he's. Um, 
yeah, he wouldn't really offer me enough. So you can see his aggression's free, bravery's free, um, work rate's four, and his tackling's five. So this type of player I just don't really like. Um, and he's got his passing's really, really low as well. So even though he is rated as one of the better ability players in the team, I, I personally wouldn't be picking him um, if I had to pick a kind of proper starting 11 for this team. So... Yeah, I prefer this guy. Um, he's got a little bit of pace, really good flair, good crossing for this level, good dribbling, good work rate, good technique, good passing, things like that. So yeah, he's absolutely perfect and he's definitely going to be our right winger. So I'm going to put him as a winger. Um, I will have him as attacking because um, Simpson, our uh, fullback, is better. Um, yeah, kind of staying back sort of thing. So... Yeah, so limited fullback. Yeah, he can't cross, so yeah, certainly he's going to be better as a limited fullback um, as well. Um, yeah, which gives Stern the sort of ability to just kind of do whatever the hell he wants up and down that wing. Um, just have a look at Ben Adelsbury. So he's a box to box midfielder, and but he's not really got the work rate. Um, okay, who else we got here? So Bernal is a ball win midfielder um, he looks to be pretty good actually um, for this level so what I'm going to do I'm going to put Bernal in the defensive midfielder position and have him as a ball win midfielder and who, what's Connolly like so Connolly is a box to box midfielder as well and Adelsbury has got creativity as A as well so what we really need is someone who's quite creative in the middle of the park um, I'll just see if they've got any one of that nature at all so I'm just going to have a look at their mental attributes and then just go to creativity so who's this guy Brad Norris he's a striker um yeah not very good Chris Allen yeah so Chris Allen is like one of the most creativity players or creative players in the team so I am going to bring in um, Chris Allen um I'll get shot of Connolly, I think, for now. And I'll have this guy as our advanced playmaker and just on the support role. And then Adelsbury, I'll have him... God. Yeah, I'm going to actually put Adam Connolly in instead of Adelsbury. I'm not too keen on Adelsbury just because his work rate's quite low. He does have quite a good few other features and kind of stats, but... Uh, yeah, for the type of formation, I think would be quite good for Bath City. I think um, having him like this um, is going to certainly be a better way of doing it. Um, so, okay, I'm going to have um, just having a think. So at the top, I probably do want David Pratt just as uh, like a target man. He's not actually that tall. Um, I think he's actually going to be better as an advanced forward because his work rate is really, really good and he'll just be kind of like hounding everybody, um, which he can do in real life. Um, so I'm going to ha just have a really, really quick look. So I'm going to put him as a box to box midfielder on support. And then as weird as it sounds, I know I said I wasn't going to put Josh Lowe in, but just because the, the tactic would be a little bit lopsided, I'm going to put Josh... No, actually I'm not. I'm going to put Aaron... Brown here is a winger and um, I'm going to put him on attack duty as well so it's quite a kind of defensive formation and um, obviously a lot of the play we just need to go through this bit of the park I'm I'm happy that these three are on defense midfielder and um, sort of defensive more defensive so I'm happy for him to go support the box to box midfielder will obviously be supporting an attack and defense Allen will be supporting in attack and defense but he's going to be the guy that we're going to be looking to um, kind of get the ball to um, yeah, and kind of make things happen for David Pratt. Obviously, Stern and Brown will be pushing forward, um, just helping out the front guys as well. I'd, I'd even be happy to have Stern up here. Um, now, he's finishing is 7 and his composure is 10, so he could potentially be like an uh, inside forward if you wanted him to be, um, but I think that would be that would be pretty good for um, Bath City. Now, I'm just gonna now I've picked the um, sort of starting eleven and the kind of like lineup um, that I'd go for. I'm just gonna have a real quick look at um, so the mentality I'd go for on this team would probably be control. I'd go for rigid fluidity because I think this bit of the park's gonna be quite kind of key. So 
the idea is Bull will be bombing forward and then Gallagher, Priest and Simpson will kind of just sit back with Bernal sort of like helping out and then the rest of the team will be kind of attacking depending on what the situation is. I'm um, just going to have a real quick look at some of the passing abilities of this team. So 10, 10 and 11. Um, in terms of pace as well, just going to have a real quick look at that. So we don't really have much in terms of pace at all. So that's going to dictate the type of passing that we're going to have. So what I'm going to do is have retain possession. Um, I'm going to get them to hassle the opponents. And I think drill crosses be quite good because I know David Pratt, um, his kind of off the ball is not too bad for this level. Um, and yeah, so with his anticipation, I think he should be able to get in quite good positions. Um, yeah, to kind of get on the end of the end of the um, crosses and things like that. So um, that's the way I'd set up the team instructions for this team. Um, obviously, these three at the back are just going to be quite steady. Um, yeah, and then you, it's, a lot of the players just got to go down this left-hand side. So what I probably would say as well is um, exploit the left flank, um, just so that these guys can, you know, a lot of our attacking is going to be coming from this side. And then the sort of the obvious thing is that these guys are going to be pushing in. Now. What I've done here, because I've said it to all go down the left-hand side, what it might be quite a good idea is to have Stern as the inside forward. You can see he can clearly do that role. Um, so I'd, I'd probably leave it up to you guys. Like obviously, if you wanted to kind of have a think about it. Um, but yeah, Stern, you could always use an inside forward because the idea is that Ball and Brown would be running down here, getting the crosses in. Then you'd have Stern cutting in Pratt there and probably Allen kind of in and around it as well. So um, in terms of um, the player... Um, kind of things that I'll be looking for him to do. So what I'd do, I'd click on the left back and I would set his uh, cross aim to the target man. And I'd also do that here as well. So cross aim for the target man. Um, David Pratt up top, I would told him to hold his position. What I need him to do is just kind of stay in the middle. He's got to be our focus point like all the time. So he's got to yeah, hold his position and I'd also to tell him to hold up the ball um, just because we need to bring in these other players into the game as well so I think it's really really important for him to like hold his position the ball winner midfielder as well I think it's really really good for him to hold his position um, and yes yeah, so fewer riskier passes as well would be quite a good idea for him and clearly with these centre backs like they can't really do um, too much either so Looks like we can't do too much with their their uh, defending actually, and probably being on a limited defender, they're kind of set to sort of not do too much with um, the ball anyway when they do get it. So our limited fullback, um, he, yeah, not too much to really do with him. Um, he's just got to, yeah, kind of like win the ball back and then just get shot of it really. So I'd kind of just leave him as it is. So our attacking player, we want him to. Do more direct passes. Um, and that's probably about it, really. And the other guy, we want him to... He'll be okay as he is, actually, the ball winning midfielder. So, the, I mean, the box-to-box -box midfielder, sorry. He'll be just kind of like running up and down um, the pitch, just kind of like winning the tackles, being in the positions when he needs to be in them. Um, so, yeah, he's got to just be a bit of a workhorse, basically. And now what I'd do with uh, this winger here as well, I'd um, tell him to be cutting. Oh, so I can't do that with cut inside, but obviously um, if he was the inside forward, that'd be quite a good idea, I think, just to get him to sort of cut inside would be, be quite a good uh, thing for him to do. Um, yeah, just having a look at this. So I'd probably do cross aim as target man as well and probably more direct passes as well for him. So... Um, overall, most of this tactic's just set up to go down the left. Um, obviously, these three, uh, sorry, four here will probably be kind of staying back as much as possible, just making sure things are quite tight at the back. And then you've got the two midfielders who will um, sort of attack and defend when needed. David Pratt being the sort of focal point of the team. Um, and then Ross Stern, who uh, looks to be quite a good player. <laughs> Um, he can yeah, be be like a winger. Um, you don't really need him defending, so just put him on all, all out attack. You can see here that his uh, tackling is just on four. Um, so yeah, he can't really do a lot with the ball. Um, certainly, if I had to improve this team and kind of bring a few other players in, I know you're 
always on a limited budget with um, non-league teams, but looking to bring in a goalkeeper. Um, so what I'd do, um, this is a custom view that I always have. So you can see here that Jason Mellon needs to um, sort of be improved. If you could bring in someone who's a little bit more creative, I think that would be a good idea. Someone maybe with a creativity like, I don't know, 12, 13, I think that would be probably good enough for this level. Um, and then I'd probably also look to get in maybe a new left winger, um, just someone who's maybe a little bit younger. Um, I mean, obviously this guy would probably do a job for this season. Um, you could probably get rid of, say, Josh Lowe, maybe get rid of him. Um, I just don't think this type of player really would do enough for me. So, yeah, like just with his work rate being for, he, he won't be tackling. He's not aggressive or brave enough to tackle. Um, yeah, I just don't think that in this like level of football, you need everybody to be working hard. And I do think they've got other really good players like Ben Adelsbury. I know he does is like a good good player for this level as well. And yeah, he'd certainly be someone that you could use quite quite frequently. Um, this guy doesn't look too bad um, as well, but I'd probably use him as an inside forward. So I'd be training and training him in that position there, um, just to. Yeah, kind of make the use of his dribbling and flair attributes. And yeah, I think that would be about it, really. Um, obviously, this guy looks quite good. So if um, David Pratt does get injured or something like that, then you have got somebody else. Um, yeah, quite tough, I guess, for like non-league um, creating tactics. But I hope you guys kind of got a bit more of an insight of how I kind of create tactics and the things I kind of think about. You need to be... Um, I pretty much say this in a lot of my tactics videos, but always, always create a tactic for the team and the players you've got. There's no um, kind of tactic tactic that will kind of suit every team. So you can see here, if you've got someone like, um, you know, if you've got this guy as a complete wing back, it's pretty much a waste of time. He, he can't cross. Um, yeah, he's best just kind of getting the ball and just giving it to somebody else so you can actually do stuff with it. And so, yeah, just you've got to kind of just make a tactic that, suits your team basically so yeah i hope you guys find this um, video helpful um obviously like i said i'm going to be making some more tactics videos for manager 15 when it does come out if you've got any comments on this video i'd like to hear them and uh yeah thanks for watching this video guys